presentation. In this final part, I'm going to discuss another trend analysis, but here it is a pointwise linear progression. It's available in a software called Progressor. Each dislocation is presented by bars. The length of each bar is related to the defect. The longer the bar, the more depressed the sensitivity. The color of the bar is related to the p-value of the regression slope. For example, undamaged location, you have a series of short bars, like here. While damaged and stable location, you get series of long bars. But if there is progression, then you get change in the color of the bars, depending on the probability of the slope of the regression line at that location. Pointwise linear regression, here each point in the parametric field is considered individually and its change over time is examined. In the progressor, the criteria can be altered by the user. The default is a slope of a steeper than minus one decibel per year with a probability of 1% in the inner points and a slope of a steeper than minus two decibels per year with a possibility less than 1% for peripheral points or edge points. Problems with point-wise linear regression. Although this method yields numerous rates of a change of the field of vision, one for each dislocation, it does not yield a global value of the likelihood of the presence of progression. This is important and it is useful clinically. Also, this method does not take into account the spread of defects to neighborhood points. There is an article that can calculate the global rate of change depending on point-wise linear regression, but it is not available commercially. There is another software called Peridata. It can import data from different machines and then make the necessary calculations. The price of this per year, this is for the first year and this is for the following years. This is some form of the printout that can be achieved with this software. Now we come to the final question. Which method is the best? The whole we discussed. Which method is the best to use? Although of the effort done to detect subtle progression, it is affected by many factors, like Suboptimal and variable patient reliability, progressive media opacity, and long term fluctuation. Which method is the best? There is no consensus of what value of regression slope and what p value constitute progression. Another problem it's not sure, it's not agreed upon whether. This change should be maintained in subsequent fields. Again, there is no universal acceptance criterion for how many points in the field must be flagged as progressing in order for an eye to be said to be progressing. And whether or not should these points be adjacent to one another? Although the standard criterion for glaucoma progression is lacking, 
Yet, at least some of these algorithms have proven to be useful tools for progression detection. Thank you for your attention.